Hi, I'm Marcus Heinemann. I am the editor-in-chief of the Thoracic and Cardiovascular Surgeon, a journal I've been editing since 2010. It's uh, the scientific journal of the German Society for Thoracic and Cardiovascular Surgery, and it's publishing, like the name implies, papers on cardiac, thoracic, and vascular surgery. Well, it's a fairly international journal. It's surgically oriented, so it's clinical papers mostly. And last year, we had submissions from over 30 countries around the world. And as the name suggests, we cover the whole subject, the whole spectrum of thoracic, cardiac, and vascular surgery. Uh, as a society journal, we are also open for different systems. A good example would be esophageal surgery, which in Germany, that's very special, is mostly done by the abdominal or visceral surgeons nowadays, whereas in most parts of the world, it's still fairly fixed to the thoracic surgeons. And we are still covering esophageal surgery, which in effect had German visceral surgeons now submitting to our journal. So that was a win-win situation. Well, that goes a long way back. The first role model I had was my first chief in cardiac surgery, Hans Bors in Hanover, who was actually editing the very journal I am editing now. I was then a very junior resident in interested in publishing medical papers, and he discovered my interest and he taught me how to do it. So that was the first contact. And the second contact was in, from Philadelphia, from Hank Edmonds, who edited the Annals of Thoracic Surgery for a very long time. And he actually got me into their editorial board and this is where I really learned the trade. Well, the book actually, the idea came from seeing all these manuscripts every day and seeing how people kept on making the same mistakes. And it's an old principle that you, that you learn most from your own mistakes. So I started collecting those mistakes. And this was basically the idea first for a lecture I gave. And then I thought, why not make it into not a book, into a small booklet that's showing people what not to do again. It's a very practical guide, a very short guide, like how to see Beijing in half a day. And that's basically meant for the junior authors and for the older ones not to repeat their own mistakes. Well, I've been there before to give lectures on medical writing, and I'm looking forward to being back. I've met, met friends in Shanghai and looking forward to meeting them again, make new friends. Well, the submission system, uh, process as such is fairly straightforward. It goes through that manuscript processing system, and which is explained on the website step by step. And what's always important is that you follow the instructions for authors which are specific for the journal. You find them on different sites, on the journal website, on the submission website. And if you follow them closely, there shouldn't be a major problem. And if you do have a problem, you can always ask the editor. Well, the first thing is you have to have a good protocol right from the start to make your research work. And then if you go along doing your study, you should not focus on the results only, but keep kind of a track record to make notes, should make notes throughout the process, which will actually help you to uh, write the manuscript when everything's done. And you have to follow the rules, keep to the instructions. Well, as I've heard, uh, Tima has just opened an office in Beijing, and I'd really love to go to Beijing. I haven't been there before been to Shenzhen and I've been to Shanghai, but not to Beijing. And I'm looking forward to going to Beijing and meet the people. There are many famous hospitals uh, there, and I would like to meet those people there and maybe give them some advice how to publish and how not to publish. <laughs>